<laughs> like that kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, so, with something like that, you have a little bit of tools that you can access that will, you know, prevent or at least help those players. Maybe you know. Right. I mean, you're never going to get rid of the elitist. You're never going to get rid of the elitist attitude in MMOs. I mean, especially yeah, if you have always a, gonna be that. especially if you have a scorecard. I mean, anytime you have a scorecard, you're gonna have people judging other people on how I mean, they play. You know? Thank God they, we they, don't have a DPS meter. <laughs> uh, if they yeah. had their way, we'd we'd have a like a overall ranking board scorecard, like who's the best DPS in the game, like like an actual overall. Mm-hmm. They had their way, there'd be that. Oh yeah, an actual they, ranking system. Yeah, they definitely want that. Then you'd really see you'd really see the uh, the talk and the chat then. <laughs> No, it would just be gadgets and hard light everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there are other good DPS besides gadgets and hard lights. I, I know, but we all know clipping wise, those are. Yeah, that's big. Time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll not go into that this time. Yeah, we're not gonna go in there. I'm a gadget. I know. <laughs> Anybody have any other forum topics? I kind of have one more. It's just more complaints. Uh, a lot of people. One big thing on the forum right now is uh, people wanting henchmen removed from the game. I don't know about from the game. Yeah, not from um, the game, but <laughs> well, a lot of people were saying just get rid of henchmen. It's like that's henchmen is fun. I mean, that's what makes one thing. I mean, I like to see you know four people pop their henchmen at one time. You got twelve henchmen rushing a boss. I mean, to me, that's fun. It, it's fun for <laughs> PVE. I think this is another thing where the PvP people are trying to get it nerfed into the ground. Because I could, I could see their complaints for PvP. No, wait, 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 wait. PvP people only do that so they help out the PvE players. Remember? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I still right. have to thank them for how they greatly helped us with Fireburst. Yeah. We really <laughs> needed that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we're we're you know we have a debt of gratitude we owe the PVP I, community because you know I, they never, you know they never complain about you know some kind of power. It's always you know they're worried about the PVE content. Yeah, right. Well, the the only thing for the PVP is, you know, they 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 make up their rules for their duels and their PVP anyway. They can just. You know, come up with some pre-made rules for their own personal duels or something. Right. Like you see it in the open world all the time. They're complaining about people popping a soda or using a pet trinket or summoning pets. You know, or when there's no, th- there's no rule against it, but it's their personal pre-made rules for the fight. Like there's nothing stopping them from saying, "Okay, we're going to have a duel, no henchmen." You don't have to go out and get it nerfed. For PVE too, to the point where it's completely useless. Right. Like other moves have had done. Because I mean, if there, henchmen, no yeah, if henchmen go by your combat rate, which they don't go by your combat rating right now, they go by your mainframe. So if I have it, if I think it's cor- correct, everybody is on the same mainframe level. Their henchman is going to do the same damage, right? I think yeah. so. Yeah. I, I think. I think where the hate is coming from is, you know, they can't really get, I think it's the hardcore PVP players because they don't do enough content to get triumph to be able to spend like 3750 or something a month, whatever it is to get these henchmen. So if they can't have it because they just, their fun is PVP, right. they don't there's wanna, something wrong with that. Right. But if they can't have this powerful thing without doing, they PVP, don't want anybody else they don't to, want have you it. to have it either. Right. Exactly. Or, or they just don't have the DLC. There that go. too <laughs> could be free to plays, but yeah, I, I don't think they need to nerf it. They just better not fool with it. Rules. It's just a sensitive topic. I feel that they should just do what they said that they were going to do on a hot fix, which was remove certain pets and trinkets away from PvP, right? So that players can have an even playing field on PvP, at least in in a sense. Because that's how PvP should be. Like everyone should at least have a chance. I mean, right. if someone's gonna pop henchmen on me, uh, now I have to worry about blocking. I have to worry about you know inter- interrupting. Because henchmen can do that. They can interrupt you. They can block break you. Right. That's yeah. that's what most PvPers have a problem with. Is that these things that you can pop. And and this is this could be my opinion, but most of these things that you can pop can do 
the counter system and, and at least some of these things, you know, like well, uh, the, the summer event can't, but you know, like henchmen can, right. and that's just, that grants the player that's using them immunity. And, you know, some players don't like the immunity already. And then you have something that they acquire in PVP in PVE that can, you know, give them such an edge. It's, it's, it's unfair. I can see how PVP players, you know, can complain about this. It's just something that really shouldn't be there, in my opinion, just because it is something that is so powerful. Well, an easy fix at that point would just be remove the PVP mechanic from the henchmen. You know, don't let the blue mini happen. Don't let it block break or do that. The See, that could themselves. be a, that could just be remove that element from fix. them and they're fixed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, that's what I was trying to get at. Like, you know, that could just be something that they add to nerf it, but it's not completely changing the dynamic of henchmen. It would still be the same for PVE then too. I mean, exactly. it wouldn't even be a nerf for us. Everyone would be happy. E exactly. See, that's that's a good suggestion. Just not they're bad. That. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, like <laughs> reduce their <laughs> reduce their damage into the ground. Like it. Then they're worthless. My... <laughs> yeah. Then exactly. it's like, what's the point? Now it's just there for show. You know. Yeah. That or, or uh, I'm hoping the DLC content is like pretty challenging. Yeah, you know I mean, so people won't complain as much. Like you'll almost have to have henchmen to get by it. Or at you least know, or, a good accomplice. Or a good accomplice or, you know, the, the top orbital strike or whatever. Supply drops. Yep. And, I mean, an another thing that people, you know, fail to realize is that henchmen and accomplices do not give you a buff like some other trinkets do. Like, you know, do you really want to sacrifice your FOS tr trinket that gives you this much precision, this much dominance and such for, you know... Oh, no way. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. Exactly. Especially yeah. if you have a utility belt that can't have, you know, too many trinkets. Yeah, my FOS one trinket lasts for 20 seconds and it buffs my what? Might 340 and precision 320 or something like. I'm not giving that up. No, <laughs> exactly. there, there's no way. I mean, you know. I wish there was an easier way to do it, on, you know, on the PlayStation 3 controller. I still feel it's a little awkward to do your utility. That's probably just me, but sometimes I mess up and I'll like accidentally hit the cola instead of the <laughs> what i'm trying to do yeah i've done that a few times <laughs> yeah it definitely it took me a while to get used to it i'm just now just now starting to get used to doing it uh let's see um i'm trying i'm trying to find anything else on the forums how about uh some of the pvp roadmap topics that uh the, de the devs have created What are they up to? Yeah, I didn't really follow that. <laughs> I mean, like it's, I said, you're more of the PvP player than I am. Well, I mean, and... like I just, I play all sides of the game equally, but um, just like I guess, how would you, how do you feel about like the changes that are coming, like PvP seasons, uh, being able to buy gear that was one that once required like marks of strategy, marks of tactics, influence. They're getting rid of influence. Right. You know, like well, right. My my only my only issue with that is exactly how they're going to do the gear. Now I, I'm not trying to sound like we were talking elitist before and stuff, but I'm sure if they do it where all those gears are cash, you're going to have people complaining about there's too many people getting easy skill points and feat points because oh look I just bought the three influence gears, the tier two, the tier three, and the tier four with in-game cash, and now I've got like plus five skill points or something. Like, yeah. how's that going to work? Uh, I guess, like, the, the only thing I can really say about it right now is, like, we'll just have to wait and see how they do implement that. Right. Because, I mean, that was one of my chief concerns. Like, am I going to have that sense of, like, I wasted my time exactly. grinding out that influence getting that T1 gear? Or, I mean, are they just going to have, like, those, like, are they going to have, like, new sense of currency? Are they going to have, like, any way of like earning those things i just it i guess the only thing i can say is we'll have to wait and see well basically aren't they lowering the gap in between the tiers i mean like one tier is only available during that season is that right and then the oh. next season the step up is smaller it's like a smaller increment in the in the the progression of the gear isn't it i thought There's, i heard 
They're basically also. just trying to even the playing field for right. PvP. Right. See, I, I think they could. I think that's too complicated a way of going about it. I think, I think PvP needs an overhaul. You know, I just they could just balance it out, make it, give everyone the same gear when you go into a PvP lobby. Everyone has access to the same gear. I know a lot of people aren't going to like to hear that, but well, that's I, just... I think that's the way it's going to work because if you can all buy just buy tier four with in-game cash, everyone's going to be starting at the tier four gear and moving up, <laughs> correct? Well, what happens in because from what I understand, this is how it's going to work. Uh, let's say PvP season one starts, right? All right. Uh, tier five comes out. Uh, tier four is now buyable with cash, so everyone at least starts with tier four PvP, right? All right. Uh, tier five is only a slight upgrade. You know, it gives you that edge that isn't huge, but I mean, it helps. You know, it's not going to make it to where you're How much cash are people. we talking about? Well, see, that's another that's another thing. People are, you know, <laughs> worried that it's going to cost more than two thousand to fifteen hundred each, you know, because how then how are premium and F two P people are going to get in there, you know? Right. But I mean, at the same time, if it's too cheap, then you have legendary people being able to, you know, just buy it really quickly, getting those feet points, you know. Well, but, they may not I mean, have feet points associated with the seasonal gear. You never know. That that, that could they be may one stop aspect. that right, which that would probably that would be a good idea actually. It, especially if you can just buy it with cash, you know. Right, that's not a feat. Oh, I have money. Where's the <laughs> Where's the achievement in that? Wait, wait. Having money is a feat. Where's my extra couple skill points I'm missing? Well, I know, <laughs> I know you get skill points for doing collections which you can buy in the broker that's another thing somebody brought up today on the forums uh collections should be account bound that's what they're saying and i was like I saw well that too what'd you say jay i saw that one too yeah <laughs> i don't yeah. agree with that i it's kind of i think they need to make more stuff tradable you know really open it up a lot more you know but yeah um account bound things like that i it's just it's people whining that they don't want to play that part of the game that they don't specifically like. You know, right. it's like I said before, people are gonna is gonna like certain content, people aren't. It's kind of like how I I don't play like Owen Sign Cells, even though I love Owen Sign Cells. But this is just an example. Like, say I don't like Owen Sign Cells, I'm gonna ignore it, not gonna play it, don't want to do it. Right. It's right. collection hunting. Oh, I don't like collection hunting. Not gonna do it. I'll get it when I get it. It's whatever, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. But, I mean, it's just one of those aspects that certain players aren't going to like, certain players will. But I, one of the problems with collection hunting that I can see where people can complain about, or just certain feats in general, is that, you know, they, they, they do require a lot of time. Uh, certain collections require, like, a, a butt-ton of money. Yeah. That certain players aren't going to be able to get. <laughs> I don't know how it is on the PC, but <laughs> oh, so some collections are bad. Some collections are bad. I could probably name them. It's probably the same ones over here. Probably Bluetooth like... brush. <laughs> Superboy, uh, not 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 that used to be big. Um, oh, it's Bluetooth still big over brush. here. The phobia is Le the C phobia. Phobia is legal training in ninety days. Um, the Kryptonian isotopes are bad here. <laughs> See, those are cheap. They used to be expensive, like like a year and a half ago. They were kind of outrageous on the PS3 side, but now it's not that bad. Yeah, I, I was just basically saying, like, you know... Plus, well, Smallville's so easy to farm. People aren't going to want to do those menial things again. But, I mean, in my opinion, it's that sense of progression. You're choosing to play another character. Yeah. I mean, you don't see... Uh, you don't see like a problem with you know grinding out gear again in in some aspects i mean they're not going to just give you tier four just because you've bought it already you know right it's just that sense of progression in my opinion yeah that's that's uh, honestly, gonna be a wait and see definitely. honestly it's it sounds to me like people trying to find a work around a, a workaround of that whole thing we were talking about earlier with you know the faction respecting and stuff like you know, I want to go to a hero. I've got all these collections and everything. Make a new character with 80-plus skill points. Because exactly. everything's done. I think that's just another workaround they're trying to do for, you know, the whole faction respect aspect of it. Right. Or, or just having multiple characters. They think they have 100-plus skill point character. They should have 
10 where each <laughs> character should be its own growth and grind yeah that that's that, that that's basically what i'm trying to get at each character should have their own separate growth and development because i mean if you're choosing to play multiple characters you can't just have it to where you know you start a character oh he already has 80 skill points then like what's the point of creating another character right yeah except for maybe you know having a, a different class or you know movement power or something but i mean <laughs> that's what power respect tokens are for well they saw the app i mean they have to make money you know after the free to play that was that was a given you know I'm surprised they don't even sell gear for real money. You that's, know that, I mean? that's that pay-to-win aspect that they're trying to avoid. Right. Because that, that kills MMOs. Yeah, but a PvP, like a PvP gear set, like a starter set that you could actually pay with, like, real money, like in the you know PlayStation Store, like a starter set, that would oh, that'd make them a lot of money. It, it'd make them money, but they PvP. would lose out. They would lose out in the long run. Yeah, don't do it in the PvE. Don't do it at all in the PvE, but maybe offer it for the PvP. Because I look at it, this is a PvE game. PvP is just kind of a... It's not an equal... But these guys are trying to make it seem like PvP is on an equal footing as PvE, and it's not. I mean, well, it's it's not I even 80-20. PvP has its place. It's just there has to be a balance. You can't forget about PvE because... Yeah, that's where the whole basis and story came from. Yeah, you're shooting PvP yourself is a in the part, foot. but it's not any more important than the PVE part. Yeah, I catering too much to the PVP community is not a good idea, in my opinion. See, now a game, a different MMOs, PVP is is more part of the game that I've played, that I've experienced, and they they might want to cater to that, you know, in that particular game, but. Most, you know, I don't think PvP is that big in DC Universe Online. I might be wrong. That might be a, just an. Oh, uh, there, there, there's some hardcore PvPers. Oh don't yeah, there's wrong. no doubt. Especially like the Call of Duty guys. You know, they they want to play more PvP, so they can just make their videos showing them killing somebody or something like that. You know. Yeah. Definitely. So, is there any more uh, forum topics we want to talk about, or? Are we are we good on that? Can't really think of anything else except you know just, most of it's just complaining, you know. Yeah, the typical. Steel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say we leave Steel alone. We give Steel a break. Leave him for another episode. Another episode. episode we need a whole two, episode Mike. dedicated to that. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, I'm right. You look down the. Uh, the PvP section of the forums, how, out of the first page, how many of them have Steel in the titles? How many times do you see Steel a day on that list? Here's the here's the workaround. Buy Steel. That's what they want you to do. Now, here, here's the workaround. <laughs> they all complain. A lot of people complain. Steel's not really broken. It's when you have a team of Steels, like four Steels, that he's really broken. Right. It can be worse. I mean, Steel uses his power bar quick. Think of three Steels and Batman to keep him powered. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> well, I mean, hit the all good listing out there. Pick Batman for your team. <laughs> you could you could argue with some legends that same argument. You know, like for Hal Jordan's when he first came out. You got people spamming that that strafe run. You know, or or we That's, could go that's back. four strafe runs coming to your face. <laughs> Or we could go back. They, they always complain about one or another of them because we can go back to um, Last Laugh. They all complained about Amon Sur and Bizarro for a moment. Mm-hmm. Or I Bane. mean, before that, it was Bane and Two Face. Right. Exactly. And then Joker People... because of the one handed clips. I always it, hated always fighting someone. against Bane when I first started playing Legends. Oh, yeah. That was annoying. Two Face as well. Because the guy that really two-face. knows how to play Two Face is deadly. Back I hate then, fighting against Two Face. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Two Face is annoying. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to uh, do any speculation on the new DLCs coming out? Are we moving away from forum topics? Yeah, let's move away from forum topics. All right, let's do that then. We covered. Um, well, you know my speculations count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of wondering if 
well, I mean, we're talking about three raids, four raids, you know, numbers like that. But uh, I'm just kind of wondering if if they're holding back something of the origin stories, what other characters are going to be involved? Because I know, I know, obviously, it's Superman, Batman. Is Wonder Woman going to be in there since she's a mentor? She's the other mentor. I mean, we are, are they going to try to have a story where we try to stop her origin or? I don't that think so. That would be good. I mean, it would make sense for th- the, all three mentors to have their origin tied to each other in raids. Like, say, if you're villain faction, you're helping Joker. Your hero faction, you're helping Batman. Right. You're, you know, and you're basically the opposites. But um. So are we going to try to, or as as if you're playing a hero, are you? Are they going to try to stop the origin of the Joker? I mean, is that one of the stories? I mean, I don't know. Or Lex they, Luthor? Because I know they're going to try to stop the origin of Lex Luthor. Because mm-hmm. you see Lex Luthor like in his lab coat before he's like be- actually becomes deranged or whatever. I think that was part of that picture. You know, they're not really saying much, but I mean, it's coming out around the corner. So you got what, about 20, probably about three weeks till it comes out, maybe? I mean, it might, uh, be in May. it might be in May. I don't know, but I'm hoping mid to late May, because that'd, that'd be that'd be that'd be th- that'd be a three month period. Because I heard, well, they're doing uh, game update 25 first, right? And that's in two weeks, supposedly. Yeah, I'm or... I'm speculating PC test this week. Maybe. I would I would hope to Maybe God the that following. It's... Yeah, but they're not doing much. I mean, it, the update, there isn't much to the update. I mean, I don't know exactly everything they're doing except the ranged matchmaking. I yeah, don't know what else. Yeah, it's supposed to be a PvP-oriented update. Yeah, I don't know what else they're doing for the update. Is this where they're introducing the armors and stuff? Like the Tier 5 PvP? Uh, they might, just because um, they have to catch PvP up to PvE. Well, yeah. they actually be in front. They introduce because... We... <laughs> I mean, which isn't a bad thing. Right. That, that, that appeases them. Like, this time they say, you got your content first. I mean, they've got nothing to complain about when we get Tier 5 PvE. Not to mention, players will be like, well, T5 PvP was for free players, you know, if it's in a game update. Although, there there is one thing I'd like to say. Not, not to trail back to our previous comment, but, you know, one thing I hope they do when they release that game update is I know people have complained about this. I hope that there's some way that they curb PVE armor and PVP, where you get these glass cannons that kill you in two seconds. Oh, they're getting rid of that with a PVP combat rating. Well, that but plus I'm hoping something like if you go into the into the arena with PVE gear on, it should count as no stats. It should be like you're wearing nothing at all or something. They, they need to just outright make pve gear not work in pvp arenas well from what i understand that they're gonna do and this is how i envision it is that like to queue for any kind of pvp content you're gonna need that base gear that you can buy with cash and because that'll give you your base combat rating to actually queue for the right pvp battles right that way you know people can't be wearing not even like one piece of PvP, pve gear and get in still you know well, that, that's the other concern I had. I heard that they were doing where your PvP CR counts the unmodded gear. Like the mods don't affect the CR at all. And, yeah, it's like, and a I, base, I, it's like a base CR. I, I kind of think that's odd because, you know, most games are something like that. The, the rules are usually symmetrical. Like what's good for one side is good for the other. Does that also mean this update that PvE side... It just is going to start counting our gear, not the mods. Are we all going to drop the CR seventy eight? Well, I think they were because that, that's a little odd to me. They're doing that for one side, not the other. Well, weren't they talking about like what your pets are going to feed off of? It's not your pets aren't going to feed off of your modded CR. It's going to feed off your base CR. Unmodded. Yeah, but still, I, I, I think just think it's kind of odd. I, I just think it's odd that they're right. doing it on one side, not the other. Like they're not telling us something. So, so in other words, you're not going to be able to queue up in PVE gear anymore for PVP. That's basically what they're taking care of. That's Hopefully. like one thing they're taking care of. Or am I wrong about on that? 
I mean, that's that's what I'm hoping for, and that's, oh, that's what, what you're hoping. Made for. It, that's what they made it sound like, right. With a PvP combat rating, right? Because of co- of course, you know, people don't want it to wear. People go in with like you know last Aurochs armor, and then they're just like, "Well, I'm gonna totally wreck people. I may die in one shot, but you know, I may get like four or five kills right. per death." Well, yeah. the die in one shot doesn't even matter with the blue immunity. They just got to go immunity to immunity, and they're inv- they're invincible. The defense means nothing. That's why it's bad in PvP. Right. <laughs> they what's just gonna, juggle blue immunity. What's gonna stop me from putting back on that armor once I'm in the instance? Yeah, that too. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's something we just have to wait and see. That, that's I don't, why I said I don't... that the armor has to count as zero stats. That that's the only fix I see. Right. Yeah. If it's and PVE then... and you're in arena, it's like you're not wearing nothing. Fifteen hundred health, whatever the base might is. Yeah, you're done. I mean, there's no you're way. Done. There's nobody would want to do that. Your you know, base so... level thirty stats or whatever level yeah. you are. <laughs> exactly. That, that's the only fix I see. Yeah. Because like you said, what's to stop you from putting the PVE gear on before the fight starts? Right. Definitely yeah, something. it's just something we'll have to wait and see. And I, I hope they work your inventory it out. like they do in Legends, but you know, if you need to put some yeah. more Olas back on, you know. Definitely. Well, I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah, just have like a, but just have like a generic cola. Like everyone has the same kind of cola when you go in the PvP lobby. You know, like it's added to your cola spot your consumable spot i don't know but that that, that kind of defeats the your, your original character perspective i thought you know the what, re, one of the reasons people like arenas is you know you're your own character your own items your own builds let's just bring it more towards legends where everyone has the same generic soda or everyone has the same generic trinket you want a little something different i don't think that they'd go that far yeah i don't think so either I mean, I could it, hope. I mean, that, that's just kind of the way I would like to see PvP done, but... It takes the crafting aspect out, too. Yeah. Well, but, uh, uh, I guess back to Origin Crisis, since we were we were talking about Game Update 25 then. Yeah. Well, I was kind of wanting to talk about the League Halls. Because, league Halls? Yeah, I saw the... I mean, I know we're we're getting down the road a ways. You know, ahead, of our, ahead of ourselves. Ahead so of speaking. ourselves a little bit. But one thing that kind of interests me was the armory. I think somebody brought it up earlier, but uh, the armory aspect of it. I think that's something they should have done from the get-go in this game. Long overdue. Yeah, like you can actually have style lockers where you just go and I guess you're going to hit X and... You're, you can automatically equip that style. You've got a preset style in the lockers. That's what you, that's what that's what Spittle said. Yeah. One of the things I liked about this game is that they try to come up with like an interesting story for certain features in this game. So like you know, cross right. back PvP, they put the story of the Suicide Squad there. You right. Know? So like for dual specking, so to speak, because that's that's basically what it is. You're we're getting dual specking in DLC eight. Uh, the, you know, the armories are supposed to be your dual spec or your style save, you know? That's, that, yeah. Well, that's people have been calling for that from day one. It's like, why can't I just go over and click a button and there I'm equipped as a controller. You're automatically re exactly. back to the controller. I mean, that's awesome. You know how much time that'll save? <laughs> that's that's, that's basically what armories <laughs> are supposed to be, a, story, a story-driven dual spec update. Right. Kind of like how Suicide Squad came out came out with you know cross faction pvp right right yeah they're implementing the dc the dc comic storyline into their updates and stuff like that it's pretty cool but still that right there would be worth the entire dlc to be able to just change you know i might want to even play pvp more if i can just go click on my pvp locker Really Good. fast, you know, like that. That's that would be awesome. Just <laughs> go go into uh, your base because I'm sure they they even tease that there's going to be armory lockers for your base. It was a base amenity. Um, yeah, I watched the uh, I watched that um, home turf podcast forever ago. Yeah, where Yens Anderson kind of they they showed a screenshot of it actually. Now it was a rendered screenshot. It wasn't an actual in game. It was a it was a, like an artist rendering of the screenshot. But it kind of showed what they had in mind for the lockers. You know, they had little glass tubes. And that, that's cool. I mean, I think that's cool to be able to go to like a glass tube and just 
you're kind of like Iron Man. You can just, you know, pick whatever yeah. suit of armor you want. You know, yep. you you interact with it. Bam, you're now like, you know, ready to. Bam, I'm PVP or... now. Yeah, exactly. Like Ever. that. That's awesome. Like yeah. that's the way it should be. Yeah, that will definitely be the best. That will definitely it, be it, the best addition to the game since crafting, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, I love <laughs> I loved that crafting update forever ago. <laughs> yeah. Not to go off topic. Yeah. But... Well, I mean, you know, we're talking about the game. I mean, you're gonna, it's gonna happen. So. But, Fair um, game. Yeah, like that that's definitely something about DLC 8 that I'm excited about. Um another thing that I like about DLC 8 that they said cuz they the um Jens kind of talked about how DLC 7 is going to be alert raid driven, you right. know, like 4 man 8 man. Uh DLC 8 is going to be, you know, that uh social aspect where, you know, league halls, new league dual, UI, dual, dual specking. Right. And he also said some duos are going to come out. Right. Specifically for DLC 8. Right. And I'm like, you know, interesting. Like, they go alert, raids, duos, and then, you know, DLC 9 is going to go back to raid, alert. So that means possibly that they would do, like, a, a switch of back and forth where DLCs are going to contain, you know, alerts, raids, then duos, alerts, raids, then duos. You know, like, <clears throat> you could kind of expect you know, certain things from certain DLCs without having any sort of information yet. I think, uh, the, go, go ahead, Kaiser. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just hoping they, they step it when they do the duos that they step it up a little bit because it, se it seems like when it comes to duos, they're always falling behind a tier. Like we're almost done tier four content. We just have tier three duos. I'm hoping we get some tier four duos and then that brings in tier five duos. Yeah, like, that'd be, I don't that'd be not, not to flood it with the marks, but I, I think they need to up what they're doing with duos a little bit. We don't even have tier four yet. I want the halls of power to have tier five. Yeah, duos are definitely an underrated part of the game. I mean, yes. I, I think a lot of people queue up for more duos probably than anything. Because they pop real fast. Yeah, it's exactly. actually something that just yeah. doesn't get a lot of love. It's a unique aspect of DC. Like a two player dungeon, you don't see that in too many games, right. you know? Right. And some people just prefer that kind of thing. I mean, there's players out there that prefer a small group. They like to do things in groups of two and four. I well, mean, you I don't mean, always I... want to jump on and go into a raid. Exactly. Like, just give the option. Like, you can do some duos. Well, like your guys' league. Friend, you guys content. are like a tight-knit bunch of gamers. You don't have a big eight-man league, you know, or a 15-man league or something. You just have like a four- or five-man league, you know. Right. It gives you stuff to that. Run. It actually makes it more fun that way, I, I think. I'm done with big leagues. I, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> well, well, yeah. One of the things I liked that Jens and Maps kind of... Uh, I think it was just mostly Jens, because Jens is super enthusiastic about this game. But oh, it, was yeah. a post, it was a post on Facebook forever ago that was like, what do you consider your duo partner? Your sidekick? <laughs> or, you know, like, you're a partner? <laughs> And I just Everyone thought that was funny. Sidekick. Yeah, <laughs> I just thought I just thought that was funny, where uh, people thought that they were like their sidekick or their henchman. <laughs> well, actually, duos are turning into uh, a raid with two people with henchmen. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish the damn henchmen stayed out longer. Actually, well, I uh, mean, that's they, one they, of the they... things that I like about henchmen, and it's kind of like that power balance you get those three NPCs for such a short amount of time. But, you know, those 10 seconds or 20 seconds, I think, I don't, I don't remember how long, you know, you can do a lot in that with three other NPCs out. So. Well, yeah, I think it's at least 15 seconds. It's the same as the accomplice, right? Because I've noticed my level four accomplice stays out there for a nice little bit. It stays out quite a while. Yeah. No Honestly, all the hate the people put on the um, henchmen, I'm surprised they don't hate on the accomplice. That thing can pull you off of people it can aggro stuff heal. it can heal yeah. and give power yeah like even if they nerf henchmen down accomplice can be far worse right well i'm sure accomplices would follow would right follow henchmen. yeah they'd have to do something to that as well i just hope they don't go overboard with it and make it useless you know yeah, same here why why am i paying because I mean, let's face it, the generator the, in the home turf was to get people to stay on the game longer, obviously. They're wanting people to stay on the game, 
there's more chance of them buying something from the marketplace the longer they're on the game because they're wanting well, to get them those marks of triumph. That's why they, they also, made the. That's why they made it so much. You know, well, it's I feel they also wanted to give them a reason to grind too. As some people were saying, you know, they've done everything, they missed the grind. Now there's yeah, now you a can, daily thing that you can work on. Yeah, now you can kind of shut up and you have to play your, the game. You can't just stand around. You know, like I am guilty of doing a lot. So, <laughs> well, I mean, what Jen's and most of the devs kind of struggle from is that they have a very finicky player base. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh yeah. You have a player base that asked for open world content, bam, hand of fate. Of course it it was shaky, but you know, pe- pe- those people that asked for open world content still don't exactly like operations. You'd have people that were asking for, you know, more solo content, you know, there, there goes with the steel and the, um, T.O. Morrow, Strikers, and, yeah. Well, yeah, and they, that, they still don't like it. That that's painfully obvious with home turf. Everyone on the forums was like, oh, "Why oh, can't base. we get? Why can't we get backup or a sidekick that we can summon?" Then two weeks later, after it comes out, oh my god, why did you give this to us? Right, the home base. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah, believe... like that. It, it was a complete one. Like, I, that's right one right of the on things it. I just do not understand from the player base is like they'll ask for more. You know, let's say world bosses. You know, yeah. and then all. They, you know, a whole DLC around world bosses, and then like they're like, they "What the it. fuck is this shit?" Yeah, and it's <laughs> right, and then and then it just it leaves a bad taste in the devs' mouth where they're like, "Well, they didn't like that for some odd reason, even though they asked for it." <laughs> well, it'll be the same. That's why they'll never have vehicles in this game. It's because... like, what do you guys really want? <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on. I mean, it's people like are we like, can't. We ought to have vehicles. We can't keep shoving raids down your mouth. You need something else at, right. you know, at some point. The game. Right, exactly. They'll and never that... have vehicles in the game because I can see it now. Vehicles, they'll be complaining about that. People will be complaining about vehicles. Why, the... can't, oh, why doesn't it move faster? Yeah, why or why, is it, why can it, somebody why smash my vehicle? This, you know. Why can't I blah, blah? It's, it's, the problem is, is that there's too many complaints. It's just enjoy that aspect of the game to its fullest, you know? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Some things may have problems, but, I mean, they get worked out. Well, you play on the PC. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What problems ever get worked out? Did something get fixed? I don't you know can about. tell who's the PC player here. And who's <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> uh, it's most, most of the complaints i see about ps3 is lag and that's just server har- that's just the console just hardware the, yeah that's yeah hardware we're working on and all PlayStation the hardware. network yeah i like defiance is finding out the hard way right oh, now yeah it's not oh, so yeah. easy to make a massive multiplayer online on game console for the console well that that was their mistake we're on the verge of ps4 by the end of the year early next year they should have waited for the new hardware well, that's actually that, that's a something great I can't point. wait to see. I can't that's wait to see what PCU point. does on there. Yeah. Um, they Defiance actually should have waited for a, the PS4 and moved it to a PS4, you know? It actually would have ran better, maybe. I mean, I understand why they released it. They probably had pressure from the TV company because the they're trying show, to yeah. coincide with that TV show. Right. So Which is going to fail. I, I, I predict but it'll be on three months it's, and it's, it's done. It's, it's sci-fi, man. It happens, you know. They still should have delayed it. Yeah. That was them. But yeah, I can't no, wait I agree. to see what this game does on PS4. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, I, I predict, you know, it'll run smoother. May even run better on PS4. Who knows? I mean... Uh, I it, it'll it, run better. But it'll they'll still have issues. They're still, it's not going to be perfect. They're still going to have issues. I, oh, yeah. I'm expecting yeah. at least a made... Like, maybe even an expansion. When they bring up the PS4... Like, just overhaul the PC and PS4 since, you know, that they're going to be the same game mirroring each other. But since the PS4 is updated, you could do a lot more on the PC environment, too. Like, I'm, I'm hoping it just expands the game on all platforms. Yeah, but you, you can't all. just leave out the PS3 because not everybody's going to jump to that. Right, though. exactly. That is true. They, and hey, they, may not ever, they may not port the game over to the PS4. That might, that's well, a possibility. I think that would be a poor... They... they at least should port it. Well, I mean that's a that's a possibility though. Well, then again, I thought I, I thought in the um, the PS4 release thing when they did that big conference in February, I thought they they said their goal was that 
each PS3 game on the marketplace could be streamed over and played on the PS4. So it, the, the game itself should at least play on it. Yeah, okay. Which would eliminate at least the PS3. But they may not make any changes. They may not like... See, I was talking to a guy that I was in a league with, and he was for sure that they were going to come out with a brand new version of DC Universe Online for the PS4. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not speculating here. It's an MMORPG. You know, DC Universe Online 2 just doesn't come out of thin air. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, they just don't snap their fingers and boom, you know, change a few codes and it's done. I mean, that's a big project. This isn't Call of Duty. This isn't like... (laughs) <laughs> well, like Mass said, Effect. You don't see a sequel in like two years, right? Especially for an MMO, it just right. doesn't. It happen. just it doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking five, six, seven years down the road. You know. I- I'm just hoping if and when they port it to PS4, being the same game, at least it'll solve the PS3 community's out of memory issues and stuff. Those freezes. Right. It'll make Hopefully. it a lot better for us. I'm I'm sure Gens and Maps. Well, not not maps, but at least maybe Jens and like you know Larry Liberty are like on that, you know like are we are we getting this for the PS4? Are we getting this for the PS4? At least well, I hope so. I, I think they know. I think they're just under a non-disclosure or something. Yeah, they know a little something. PS4 will probably say something at E3 or something. Right. That's when they'll just open their mouths about everything. Yeah, maybe well, not. I E3, think they know. I would, I would at least maybe push for Sony Live. That's Possibly. in August. Yeah, SOE Live, I'm sure they'll have some kind of information by then. They have to, because the PS4 comes out in what, uh, around Thanksgiving? I think they're that. for Christmas, uh, yeah. Yeah, something like that. So they're going to have to, and SOE Live uh, is in August. So we're definitely going to do it. Let's put it this that. way. We're definitely going to do a show yeah, right after the yeah. announcement. <laughs> So I want to know if I have to divvy up 400 500 bucks for a PS4. <laughs> yeah, that would be a crazy investment. Yeah. But uh I mean hope hopefully there's something it it would definitely spell, you know, positive uh Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for no the game if it, if it if it moves to the PS4. I it's was all, shocked it's... that they announced Diablo 3 for PS4. Like that game's been out for a year. I mean that that did not surprise me at all. And that's only because Diablo 1 and 2 were on the PlayStation. Okay. Yeah, they were on the original, I think. They were. Uh, Diablo 1 and 2 were on original PlayStation. So when Diablo 3 got announced, I was like, oh, they're just doing what they did years right. ago. Right, right. And the only reason there was such a far jump, like, you know, why isn't this on PS3 or whatever, is because the the huge gap in time. True. Well, I think that's about gonna wrap it up. Yep. We we covered uh we covered, covered a, a lot, lot of, of subjects. Um, you know, as much you know, be honest, there's not a whole lot going on with the game except speculation. You know, at this point, so yeah, it's all photos. It's all now. May's gonna be crazy. Winks and hints from <laughs> Jen's like, yeah, oh, oh what does this mean? Meet the council. <laughs> You know, water hinting on water power. One guy was dead set it was going to be atomic on the forums, and I was like, yeah. right, who knows? They may not even have a water power this year. Actually, let's let's talk about that real quick. Okay. Uh, power in general, like new movement power or water or atomic. Let's, let's get all the first that. ones fixed. Let's get everything. <laughs> let's, get, let's go through that round first, because there's enough powers in the game. People are like, there's no powers in the game. They want uh, uh, honestly. I'm I'm going to try and make a little prediction right here. All right. They they said nature and sorcery isn't going to be a major fix. It's right. just going to be mostly tweaks. Transmutation it's, stuff. It's and... going to be the same for the DLC power, so you figure that update could be done in a relatively short time. I would well, they... expect, if they're going to do water, I would expect them to combo it with the summer content. Do the whole Aquaman thing, add some stuff, and here, here's some water power too. That's just a possibility. Just kind of tie it in. I don't see a new water summer. power coming this year. I really don't. It would fit in with Halls of Power. Give us another reason to buy the DLC. That's Halls true. of Power, water power. Or Trials of Trigon, maybe, at the toward the end of the year. Because that'll be toward the end of the year. You well, know. I, I'm guessing I summer. actually agree with Kaiser on this. For And I actually didn't think about this at first. Because think about it. DLC 8, right? Don't agree with Kaiser. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, now, just, just, wait for, just wait for this, okay? Now let just list on this on your hand. 
league league overhaul, right? Yep. Halls of power, right? Right. Maybe some duos. Dual specking. What else is in it? That's all we know, right? Well, I Summer think I think in Trials of Trigon, it's going to be more open world challenges. Trials I'm, of Trigon. You see, the Trials of Trigon, since it's Gotham on fire and stuff, I, I'm somehow picturing that screams that's open world. Get operations like the DLC Seven is going to be raids, and then the Tier Five operations is going to be Trials of Trigon, and well, maybe I, the Batman thing because I kind of see the Crime Alley stopping his origin as something more open world than taking us somewhere. I think there's going to be some bounties in Trials of Trigon too, because he kind of hinted towards that. I like, see. Well, um, you know what? I, how I felt about what's coming in uh, Origin Crisis Count, where I said like, you know, at least two to three raids, maybe one operation. Whether it's an alert or a raid, who knows? You know, we'll we'll just have to wait and see. But I, I feel like DLC Seven will have maybe maybe one operation, and then yeah, Trials of Trigon. Just you know, like that screams said, open scream, world. Scream, scream, yeah, world. yeah. And Yin's kind of hinted towards that during that little conference thing that he had when he was announcing all three for the year at the yeah. beginning of the year. And actually, it was at the end of 2012. I think it was in December. It was it, October. October. Yeah, there you go. So, so anyway, I don't know. It's just at this point. I mean, we're. May is going to be pretty crazy. We're definitely going to be doing quite a few episodes in May because you know there's going to be some stuff coming out. So, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But uh, what, let, let's go back to what I wanted to talk about, which was just powers in general. Sure. But um, yeah, like you said, like you know, nature sorcery. They haven't even put up a topic yet. And I'm not even sure if they're gonna. Maybe it's just gonna be bug fixes and such. But in terms of a new power, you know, like how I was saying in a um, when we were talking before, like. I'm thinking that we're we're long overdue for a movement power, even though we can't really think of one. Yeah. But I mean... <laughs> well, like tell we were talking about champions online, like the teleportation, and a lot of people were saying that that's just a mix between flight and super speed, basically, on the teleportation movement on champions online. I just I'm kind of baffled on what kind of movement power they do because I mean that's well, the hard thinking... part. Yeah, that that is the hard part. Thinking yeah. of something that's different that has skills attached to it, you know, because acrobatics gives you some like, you know, some. Yeah, someone uh, was saying like uh, like Orion's uh, uh, flying harness. You know, the Orion character DC Universe. He's got that. He's got that flight harness. Well, that's his flight. That's a reskin. Yeah, that, that, that's reskin flight. Yeah, like we don't exactly. want reskins. Yeah. We want something new. And any like, flying vehicle is gonna, just going to be flight. What's the big deal? You know, it's yeah, got to be yeah. something different. Which, which is why the only thing I thought that would actually make sense is just teleportation. Teleportation. Just because, how they just because it's the, the only different one. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be in the developer's shoes that has to come up with the new movement <laughs> powers. I really. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm sure that's that's a tough one. Yeah. You know? Just okay. being able to try and think of some way to give the player something new that isn't acrobatic super speed or flight you know yeah i just to me i don't know what it'd be i i I can't see it being teleportation i I think there'd be too much of an outcry from the pvp community i mean you figure (laughs) you're fighting someone in open world the second that you break combat long enough to enter movement mode you just vanish like you phased or something there's already people that complain about that that well, that would just be abused in the whole PvP aspect. Well, well what it, would happen? It would bring maybe bring up a quick little map on your screen, and you would put a, like a little crosshair on where you want to go. Maybe within a radius, it gives you like a little orange box. Then you can go anywhere inside that orange box on that little map. Like a little map pops up on your screen when you enter the movement mode. I don't know. That seems more trouble than it's worth, but that seems yeah. like a lot more work yeah. to move around. Well, <laughs> well, That's what I'm cha- saying. I'm just going to stick with flight, you know. <laughs> in Champions, teleportation works like this, where if you're in combat, uh, it's extremely risky to try and teleport away because if you get hit just once right when you're about to teleport, you get knocked out of teleportation. You get debuffed heavily if you're knocked out of it. That's insane. And you, you can't teleport again for a, real, for a long time. So, if in PvP, 
if if the devs were smart, you know, they would have to have that kind of, you know, back or, you know, uh, can't think of a word for it. Make, uh, make, <laughs> make it high risk, high reward. Yeah. Like, you, yeah, you may get away, but you might get your ass handed to you if you don't play it out right, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like how, you know, people were crying about how Super Speed had that move where you could just run past everybody to get out of combat. <clears throat> Yeah, try that on the PlayStation Three when you're run, when things don't res. I mean, it can take up to like thirty, forty-five seconds for something to even appear on the screen. Doesn't stop them from doing it. You know how many times yeah. I've fought someone in open world and they use dust off just to run? <laughs> like, great saving up that fifty just when you start losing. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, certain we'll people. Keep... I remember it, during launch, people were like, man, flight's overpowered in PvP just because, you know, like, they just fly away. And it's like, well, you know, that's what stuns are for and things like that. So, yeah, well, I mean, they, they would come up of, with a way to, you know, counterbalance that aspect of being able to teleport away, you know? Well, I also heard in the beta that they considered mental to be overpowered, and that turned out perfectly fine when they released it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right what hell of a nerf hammer there yeah well i say we wrap it up yeah we are going a little long to say hey, at least good for a show at least <laughs> yeah true definitely yeah. got a lot to talk about yeah a little controversy a little fun so anybody want to give any uh let's go around and uh tell everybody how you can get a hold of you you can see your videos uh start off with you jay Tell everybody uh, where they can see you at. Uh, they can find me at XJBan4X on YouTube, and I'll have a bunch of videos coming out, hopefully fairly soon. Cool, cool. And Kaiser, you don't have a YouTube right now? I have a YouTube. It's just got nothing on it right now. I might put the audio from this up. I'm not sure yet. Okay. okay. Well, tell everybody where you can... Uh... Um. Kaiser zero seven 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 all one word. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, Glenn. All right, well, mine is just alpha testing, not alpha testing. Um, usually just the first one you'll see, and it's just a bunch of DC and some other things on there. It should be pretty easy to find. Yeah, I'm also going to include everybody's uh, everyone's uh, link to their youtube on the podcast description as well so um anybody has any uh you've listened to the show you have any feedback you want to send us uh go ahead and uh send us an email at the dcuo project at gmail.com uh you can check out my youtube videos at uh, youtube.com backslash user backslash dcu insider so I think that's going to wrap up our first episode. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed it, and uh, we will talk to you later. Peace. Peace out. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> Peace.